Hi, this is Jack Lifton, and this is Critical Materials Corner. Today, I want, want to talk about news, which I think will be of great interest to Canadian lithium, cobalt, and rare earth miners. There, there has been an announcement that the Korean firm LG, which is a world-class uh, lithium-ion battery maker, and the Canadian company Magna, which is, I believe, Canada's largest manufacturing concern. Its market cap is nearly $30 billion, and it's based in Toronto and was founded in my lifetime. Unfortunately, not by me. They, it was announced that those two companies will cooperate with Apple to produce an electric car. Now, this has been rumored for a long time, and uh, a- Apple has actually published uh, an article about it also, so I'm, I'm believing it. Here's, here's the point. Magna is a car assembler. Mag- Magna actually makes cars. They've been assembling cars for companies like Chrysler for years, and they make every component of a car except the tires. And, and so they make powertrains. Isn't that interesting? And they're now going to have to produce a lot of powertrains for electric cars. And what do those powertrains contain? Lithium, cobalt, maybe nickel, manganese, and rare, and the, the motors for those cars, of course, will be rare earth permanent magnet motors to be the most efficient. All of these products are, have mines in Canada that, uh, are well into development, all of these products. So here's what I'm thinking. I think Magda, being a Canadian company, is going to focus on domestic sourcing. I've been saying this for a long time. As as some of my readers know, I think that we're we're looking at a regional development of uh, supply chains. And I am not so certain that the United States and Canada will be will be a couple because Europe has been romancing Canada for some time and and vice versa and the Europeans are also very very interested now in developing supply chains for electric cars uh, to me the choice of magna by apple makes very good sense uh, magna is actually if for those of you who know this market, the Foxconn of auto, automobile companies. It makes it makes every part of a car, as I said, except tires. So you you wouldn't. It's not a total supply chain uh, company for cars because it doesn't make tires. But the point is, it is Canadian. It make makes powertrains. It's going to need large quantities of lithium ion batteries. It's going to need. Uh, rare earths. It's going to need motor manufacturing. And I think this is the tip of an iceberg because I happen to know that a very large European company, which I can't name, has already inquired into Canada for the production of between 2,500 and 5,000 tons of magnets for uh, rare earth permanent magnets for motors for, for an electric vehicle platform. Uh, their delivery date is 2026 and 2029 for the for the first uh, amount and then the second amount. I don't know what Apple's timetable is, but I do know that Magna is big enough to support the development of a total Canadian supply chain. Now, uh, if if I'm not able to speak to you anymore, it's mainly because the American authorities will have put me in uh, you know lockup. For, for daring to suggest that there's some other market besides the United States for all of this stuff. Now, this it could be that some American companies could provide material to Magna, but my guess is that Magna is going to be the lead manufacturing company in in a in in a could be a mini revolution in in the focus on uh, rare earths, lithium, and cobalt in Canada. So. I'm going to follow this very closely, and I'll keep you informed on this. Thanks for today.